Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel, Parul English Lab. Today, we will look at past perfect tense. Past perfect tense is used to talk about actions that happened in past before something else in past. In simple words, you can say that past perfect tense is past in past. Let's understand it through some examples. But before that, let's look at the structure. Subject, then had, then third form of the verb. Third form is also called past participle form. Okay. And in all three perfect tenses, like present perfect tense, past perfect tense, and future perfect tense, we always use third form of the verb. Okay. Now let's see some examples. You had met him before. Okay, so this is subject, then we have had and then third form of the verb. Okay, so the verb here is meet, it is an irregular verb and second and third form is met. Okay, I have made a separate video about regular and irregular verbs. I'll mention the link in the description box and please go through it. All right, now next is we uh, he had completed his work so this is a subject then had and complete is the work the third form of complete is completed complete completed completed okay all right they had worked again they is the subject then had and work is the verb here so third form of work is worked max had left so max is the subject had and the verb here is leave and second and third form of leave is left this is an irregular verb okay where do we use past perfect tense we use past perfect tense to show the order of two past events okay past perfect shows the earlier action and past simple shows the later action okay so let's understand it with an example when the police arrived the thief had escaped okay so now if you look at it here when the police arrived so this is the subject and arrive is the verb so this is second form of the verb which is arrived okay so subject plus second form of the verb so this is simple past okay now the thief had escaped the thief is the subject had plus escape is the verb and third form of escape is escaped okay so this is third form all right so this is past perfect tense okay now uh, let's understand it with the timeline here we have a timeline now present all right now means present so anything after now is future anything before now is past we'll be talking about past all right so just understand this uh, uh, this sentence police arrived at 7 p.m in past okay and before 7 p.m another action had happened okay at 6 p.m thief escaped all right so one action happened in past but before that another action had happened okay so when the police arrived okay police arrived at seven when the police arrived past simple shows the later action this is the later action and this is the earlier action okay that's why we used past simple in this when the police arrived the thief had escaped past perfect shows the earlier action so this is the earlier action that's why it is in past perfect and this is the later action that's why it is in past simple okay so what you have to remember is this rule past perfect shows the earlier action and past simple shows the later action okay so that is how you have to frame these kind of sentences generally we use past perfect with this combination only simple present and past perfect okay now in this sentence these kind of sentences basically uh, you can say this sentence these two sentences in any order it doesn't make a difference like you know when the police arrived the thief had escaped 
the thief had escaped when the police arrived the meaning is same okay so you can frame it the way you want let's go through some more examples first is max had left when lena reached home again we have a combination of two sentences here okay so what happened first both the actions happened in past but what happened first okay first is max had left okay when lena reached home so an action happened in past but before that action another action had taken place all right so when lena reached home so we know the later action should be in past simple and the earlier action should be in past perfect so later action is lena reached home okay and earlier action is max had left so that's why this is subject plus had plus third form of the verb so this is in past perfect tense okay and lena reached home subject plus second form of the verb so this is in past simple okay so that's how you have to frame the sentences now next is i had caught 10 fish before my dad caught one so that means first this action happened i had got 10 fish okay uh when my dad caught one so this action happened later after this however both the actions took place in past but first action took place over here and then another action happened all right so this is in past perfect i had caught 10 fish before my dad caught one so this is subject plus second form of the verb so this is in past simple and this is in past perfect tense so just remember one thing that whenever two actions happen in past then the first action the earlier action should be in past perfect and the later action which happened after that in past only that should be in past simple okay now next is the plane had left by the time i got to the airport so that means by the time means before okay uh so which action happened first the plane had left okay so this action happened first in past before i got to the airport i reached the airport that means i was late i reached late and i could not board my plane all right i could not board my flight so this should be in past perfect tense and this is subject plus second form of get is got so subject plus second form of the verb past simple okay now next is the ceremony had started before we reached the auditorium okay so this action had started already before we reached the auditorium so this action happened later so subject plus second form of the verb this is present simple so what happened before this the ceremony had started okay so this is in past perfect tense next is she stayed up all night because she had received bad news okay so why she was up all night because she had received bad news okay so when this happened okay before that this had happened all right so this is in simple past subject plus second form of the verb so past simple okay and before that what happened this thing okay she was up all night because she had received a bad news so this is an earlier action here okay so this happened first and because of this she couldn't sleep all night all right so past perfect tense and then past simple now look at this sentence okay last night i had slept before 9 o'clock however we do not have a sentence in simple past over here but you know this shows simple past okay a time in past is simple past last night is past last night i had slept before 9 o'clock so this is past 
simple past and before this I had slept so past in past that's why this should be in past perfect tense and that's it we do not have another sentence over here okay I called his office but he had already left so when I called his office before that he had already left okay so this subject plus second form of the verb because this is a later action so this should be in past simple and this is an earlier action so this should be in past perfect tense okay so basically in these kind of sentences you just have to see a past action in past okay to use past perfect tense just find a past action in past okay if it is an action happened in past and ends there just one action so that is simple past but if an action happened in past but before that an ac another action had happened that is past perfect we have seen how to make positive sentences in past perfect tense now look at some negative sentences also okay now first is i was hungry because i had not eaten okay so this is a past action i was hungry this is past simple okay why i was hungry in past because i had not eaten because because of this action which did not happen in past okay so this is past and past in past that's why past perfect tense okay my mom didn't take me to the wedding because i had not or i hadn't finished my homework hadn't is contracted form of had not we'll talk about it later okay so uh, my mom didn't take me to the wedding this action this is in simple past okay negative sentence in simple past all right this all is past simple okay so this action didn't take place why because before this this action had not taken place i had not finished my homework that's why my mom didn't take me to the wedding okay so you can frame these kind of sentences also but more or less the uh, the combination should be simple present and past perfect okay i had not finished my homework so basically the rule is subject plus had not plus third form of the verb so that is how you can frame negative sentence in past perfect tense i had not met anyone from us before i met jane so i met jane subject plus second form of the verb is past simple i met jane in past and before that i had not met anyone from us okay that was the first time when i met someone from us so this is past perfect tense next is she had never played football until last week so we do not have a sim a sentence in simple past here but last week shows past okay this is the time so this is past and another action before past is she had never played football okay she had never played football until last week so past in past so this is past perfect tense in the last sentence i had not slept until my mom came back home okay so this action had not taken place until another action in past happened okay so this is the later action that's why this is in past simple and this is the earlier action that's why this is in past perfect tense okay which had not happened it is a negative sentence but this is an earlier action and this is a later action okay so that is how you can frame negative sentences in past perfect tense let's make some interrogative sentences in past perfect tense now had she slept when you came back home so again an action happened in past when you came back home before that had she slept okay now here what we have done uh we have just uh, swapped the places of she and had subject and the helping verb so she has taken the second position and had 
has taken the first position okay so had she slept when you came back home now if you have to make a negative question then had she not slept or hadn't she slept okay now next had the train left before you reached the station okay so when this action happened when you reached the station before that had the train left had this action happened okay so again had plus the subject okay now next had they gone out when you called so again this is in simple past okay subject plus second form past simple they all are in past simple okay and then had they gone out so this action happened before this so this is past perfect tense okay this is the earlier action and this is the later action okay now next is by the time before he came or when he came had she finished her work so again this action happened and before this this action had happened so this is in past perfect tense and this is in simple past now you can see that we can change the order okay like uh, here i wrote this sentence first and the past perfect sentence by the time he came back had she finished her work or i could have written it like had she finished her work by the time he came back okay so it doesn't matter uh, in which order you say the sentence the meaning will remain the same all right now had the water boiled when you went to the kitchen okay or when you went to the kitchen had the water boiled all right so now when you went to the kitchen this is in simple past before that had the water boiled or the water had boiled okay now you can see that we uh, connect these kind of sentences with when or by the time or before like these words okay sometimes because also all right so that is how we connect two sentences one is simple past and another one is past perfect okay now these two sentences are a bit different try to understand they are very easy okay so they had not danced together since 2004 it is a positive sentence all right so sometimes we use since and for to show the duration in a uh, past perfect also how in this sentence just imagine that the situation is that uh, last night there was a party and two of my uh, college friends they met they danced okay and today i'm saying that they had not danced together since 2004 that's why they both were so excited okay when they were in college in 2004 they would dance a lot okay and then there was a gap there was a duration of many years and then they danced last night in the party okay so you can change this into a question form also that you know i'm asking they both were so excited had they not danced together since 2004 because i know that they when they were in college they would dance a lot okay so i'm asking that you know uh, had they not danced together since 2004 because last night they danced so an action happened in the past okay so this is again past in past they danced in past last night and last before that they danced in 2004 and since then they had not danced okay so this again we are talking about past in past all right so when you have these kind of sentences again you can frame in uh, you have to frame in past perfect tense and the difference is only the duration okay so we can use since and for in these kind of sentences all right had they not danced together you can change it into question hadn't they danced together or had they not danced together all right now next he was hungry because he had not eaten anything for 5 hours okay so that means uh he he ate 5 minutes back all right and before that for 5 hours he had not eaten anything so there was a gap of 5 hours all right or 4 hours 50 minutes like that okay so again a duration so this this is simple past okay he was hungry simple past he was so hungry because he had not eaten anything for 5 hours so this is in past perfect
okay you can change it into question also he was so hungry why was he so hungry okay or why was he famished why was he extremely hungry had he not eaten anything for five hours okay so you can make a question out of this sentence okay so that is how you can make interrogative sentences in past perfect tense here we have some questions starting with a question word okay like this how had she washed the clothes when the light went off again this is in past simple and this is in past perfect tense okay so how had she washed the clothes so the structure is same it's just that you know you first you have to start a question with a question word and then again an interrogative sentence how had first had plus subject then third form of the verb okay so the way is same how much had she studied before the exam how many cups of milk had he drunk before the exam okay so that's how you can use question words also in past perfect tense let's look at the contractions okay first i'll tell you how to make them and then we'll uh, look at the pronunciation okay so i had again we have to remove h a okay i and apostrophe and d same u apostrophe and d he apostrophe and d she apostrophe and d okay it we don't use a contraction for it had because i have never seen it using anywhere and it's very difficult to pronounce so don't use a contracted form of it had all right so ignore this we apostrophe and d they apostrophe and d okay now the pronunciation is i had is i'd i'd then you had is you'd okay i had done that i done that okay you had done that you done that he had he'd she had she'd we had we'd okay we had washed it we'd washed it they had they'd okay so this is the pronunciation of contractions now look at the negative contractions of i had of had had not basically so i had not so n just remove o and n apostrophe t everywhere okay n apostrophe t so you hadn't he hadn't she hadn't it hadn't we hadn't they hadn't okay so that's how you can use contractions when you are ha having an informal conversation or informal writing i hope that you all must have understood everything about past perfect tense now so let's practice some sentences first is the fire dash the roof by the time the firemen dash the verbs are reach and arrive okay so what do you think which is an earlier action in past and which is the later action okay so the earlier action is think about it what happened first yes so first the fire had reached okay had plus third form of the verb first the fire had reached the roof by the time the fireman second form of the verb which is arrived okay the fireman arrived okay now next is the girl dash guilty because she dash a necklace so which is what do you think which is an earlier action over here yes so obviously the first is that she stole a necklace and the later action is after that only she felt guilty okay so the girl second form of feel is felt the girl felt guilty because she had stolen a necklace okay all right now next is 
before they dash at the airport they dash the taxi driver okay so here what happened first in the past first they had paid the taxi driver before they arrived okay before they arrived at the airport they had paid the taxi driver next is they dash the flat tire because they dash the journey okay so what happened first which is the earlier action and which is the later action so what they did first they had changed the flat tire and then they continued the journey okay so they had changed the flat tire before they continued the journey okay all right so before that action happened before that this action had already happened i dash my teeth before i dash to sleep so i had brushed my teeth before i went to sleep okay so second form of the verb go is went and had brushed so third form of brush is brushed okay so this is what you need to keep in mind you just have to see that you know if two action happened in past so with earlier action you will use past perfect and with the later action you will use past simple tense and you can easily frame sentences using past perfect tense thank you for watching my videos if you find them helpful please like and share with your friends feel free to leave comments do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos thank you take care and have a great day